So the first hour of the Splatoon 2 Global Test Fire has been out, and now I want to give my thoughts on what I think of Splatoon 2, and mainly this is going off of the Test Fire, so we don't know much, all we know is just online connectivity and another few things. But that's going to be what I'm going over in this video. So let's get started. So, Splatoon 2 Global Test Fire is just like a little program that you can download that'll be going on between the 24th, the 25th, and the 26th, and for one hour, um, there will be two times a day for an hour, you can try out the game, play some online matches, and choose between four weapons, uh, the paint roller, the splat, the original splat gun, the sniper rifle and the double the double splat gun as I like to call it. Can't remember the name for any of them because they only played for an hour. So that's um that's uh, really all you get to try out just online and that's 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 pretty much it. But the online I do have to say is a bit finicky. Um, I disconnected maybe uh, uh, every like maybe one one in five percent chance I disconnect from the game just randomly saying like you cannot connect to the other users consoles and like um no no look you dropped and sometimes in the middle of the game it'll just say that so again they, they're just testing it out that's why it's called global test fire but internet needs to be improved yeah also something i have to point out is that the controls for the game are slightly awkward when i started them up when i started off the game i couldn't believe how stiff the controls were so i changed that and it's better now and the motion controls, I'm personally, I'm personally a fan of it. I kind, I like how they uh, use the motion controls in Breath of the Wild. My friends aren't really a fan of it, so they turned it off. And I, I thought it was kind of, it's like the original Splatoon where you're in the, like the hub world and you can change some stuff around. It's pretty interesting. But the only um other complaint that I'd have about the controls would just be that they're like, um, you can't really adjust the motion controls. Like you can't adjust the sensitivity of them so if you like if you turn it and then like if you turn the controller and it like in fast rmx the motion controls it's way over sensitive and you can't do anything about it um so that that that's a bummer um also something i have to point out is that splatoon 2 even though it's coming out in summer the test fire was actually a lot of fun which is so i i personally when i first got splatoon 1 i was kind of confused at it. I didn't really like it, but I sort of picked it up. Um, I thought it was okay, but Splatoon 2 is like ironed out some of the main issues. I remember lots of people were complaining in the first game, especially a lot of reviewers were complaining about how um, the first, uh, the original game for Splatoon, like the original, original, what it had wasn't very good. And then they released like the Splatoon update 2.0 thing, not Splatoon 2, Splatoon 1 update. And it ironed out everything, and now Splatoon 2, the official new game, te Global Test Fire, seems to have um, all ironed out the things that are already ironed out. It doesn't make sense, but that's how it feels. Also, something else is that um, the uh, the game, I think personally, for seventy dollars, is worth it. It's definitely something refreshing. The entire Splatoon thing. Um, when it comes to shooters, you can't try out, you can't use amiibos from what I know. You can't, uh, use amiibo in the, in the global test fire. I would imagine you'd be able to in the, um, uh, in the, uh, full game when it comes out in the summer. And, um, yeah. So just to wrap things up, uh, uh, the test fire pretty good. Um, I, there's still some major issues that need to be, um, that needs to be fixed, like, um, Mainly internet, that's the biggest problem, internet. And, um, yeah. Alright guys, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you all later.